a family of nine recovering from the worst day of their lives hit with more heartbreak. Just over two weeks ago, the Rowe family barely escaped a house fire by jumping from second floor windows. Now their resolve is being tested again. I went to Heartland today to talk with them about their latest setback. This is not fire damage. Nope, these were smashed open and my glove box was ramp rampaged through the center council. Not sure what they were looking for, and I'm pretty sure the doors were actually unlocked. It's insult to injury for the Roe family. First, a horrific experience, waking up to the house on fire, the family losing their dog. But everyone, including the kids, made it out by escaping through second floor windows. Some were in the hospital for a week. How are the kids doing physically? Physically, we're doing well. Um, every day, Breathing sounds a little bit better, and um, we're have a few broken bones left, but physically they're they're doing well. Mentally, Mentally is a little bit different. Um, every night, um, the youngest three are waking up with nightmares. So as the family works to find affordable therapy options and waits for the insurance process to play out over what was their newly remodeled home, they're getting by for now with little but bare essentials and generosity, and now. They're dealing with a break in. I couldn't believe I was just in shock because we've been through so much. We have very little. <laughs> we barely own anything. I just can't imagine who would want to take what little we have left. To the people that did this, mm -hmm. what message would you have for them? I'm sorry that you felt like you needed to rob us of what little we have left. We are. Um, you know, we're just we're just a hard working family and um, it's disappointing, but um, we forgive you and we hope that I don't know, I think karma will do its job and um, just don't come back. <laughs> now, Michigan State Police, Glenda, they are still investigating. They did some forensic analysis, got some fingerprints and, and the family. They say that, yeah, there are some bad apples, but they've also seen the opposite side of that spectrum. There's been an outpouring of support uh, from GoFundMe to a place to stay. So they are staying positive, but they still want the people that broke in caught. Oh yeah, neighborhoods always a mix of people, but it's a shame they had to go through tragedy twice. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you for the update.